it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we are going to be looking at these tattered lace trio dies. We're going to take each flower and show step by step how we make it up. Now your tattered lace trio dies are what they say they are. There are three steps to them. So you've got your die for your die cutting, then you've got your embossing folder and then you've got your stamps. So the combination of all three make a really nice flower. But obviously you do not have to do all three steps at any given time. You could just cut them out. You could use the stamps independently or the embossing folder independently. So you don't have to be restricted. There's actually a lot that can be done and a lot of combinations and things that you could use these for. Now the Tattered Lace Trio dies are thin metal dies so they should go in pretty much any machine on the market and you would just use the sandwich that you would use for thin dies so just look in your instructions and it will tell you what sandwich you need for your particular machine today I'm going to be using my Sizzix Big Shot and so I will be talking through the sandwiches that I am using for that machine but what we're going to do today is go step by step through the flowers on using all three steps and show you how we put each flower together and how it turns out. Okay so we have here the Claire Trio die set and we are first starting with the die so we're going to cut out some layers. Now you can pick and choose yourself what layers you want to do, whether you want sort of lots of layers, single layers, just loads of the big ones, only little ones, mix them up, all three, whatever you decide, it's totally versatile and can do it any way you want. So we've got here my magnetic platform, my acrylic plate, a piece of paper, and then we're going to put in our dies. So I'm just going to pop those onto my mat here. like so and then we're going to put my acrylic mat on and run it through my machine and then just pop those out the gorgeous shape So there's our die cut, so now we are going to do step two, which is our embossing. So we have here the little embossing folder that comes in with your trio dies. And you can see that there's like a centre part to the design and then you go out to the petals. Now you don't have to do it so that the centre of your die cut's there, but I want to do that because I think it looks really nice. And I'm also going to just layer these up so that I've got all my layers in here and it will take much more than this you can put up to probably 10 layers of paper in your embossing folder and it will emboss them just fine it's a really nice deep emboss so I've put all three layers in I'm closing that tight you can see it's roughly in the center I've got my multi-purpose platform with tab one I've got my acrylic mat, my embossing plate, uh, embossing folder, and then my final acrylic mat. And then we'll just run that through. And then open it up and you can see, look at that beautiful deep embossing. And you'll see when I can separate them that it goes right down to that bottom layer and it's still just as deep and perfect so you can see it on there how beautiful it is okay so now on to step three which is the stamping 
Okay, so I've got our trio stamp set here and what I want to do is just stamp in the centre of my top layer. There's not much point on a lot of these under layers because you're not going to see it unless you have a really big stamp, like one of these bigger ones where it's going to come right out. And I don't want to do that on this one, so I think the paper's pretty, we want to enhance it. Um, so I'm just going to do a little centre flower, I think this one here would be nice. So I've put, put that on my mat, uh, on my block. And then I'm going to stamp in the centre of this layer here. It's a nice contrasting colour. There you go. That look effective. And then I'm just going to take this lavender ink and I'm just going to go around the very tips of my petals. Okay, so I'll finish doing that and then I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so there it is all stamped and inked on the edges and I think that looks so pretty. So I'm just going to take my glue gel. I'm going to put this in my hand. I'm going to put a bit of glue gel on my petals here. And just by putting it in my hand and when I press down to put the glue gel on, you can see it just gently shapes it anyway. So that's why I wasn't too worried. And then offsetting my petals of my next layer to the previous layer and then again I'm just gently pressing that you don't want to press so hard that you go through but actually you can create quite a lot of dimension with a very small amount of pressure and then just another bit of glue gel in the center so you don't want very much as you can see and then I'm just going to take my small layer and pop that into the center and again just pushing that and I kind of just want to leave that one like that I think that looks really nice and then just in the very center here with just another bit of glue gel I'm just going to take a pretty little crystal pop it down using my tool here just to make sure it's in the center properly and then using that to push down there we go and there is that little gem and that pretty And then I just spread the leaves out just a tiny bit, the petals, just a little. There we go. So there is our Claire flower. So I hope you've enjoyed making this with me. I think it looks really pretty. I hope you do too. I love the contrast with the different colour ink. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.